Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called The Knowing by The Weeknd. And it starts out on an E minor chord, and we'll talk about where we're going to move it for key in a moment. But we're going to take the first finger and put them on the A string on the second fret. The second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to be going to a B minor 7. There's a really cool way to play this, where you could take the first finger and kind of leave them on the A second fret. Second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the high E on the second fret. And if you strum just the A string to the high E, that's called a B minor seven, and it sounds kind of sad. And then from the B minor seven, we're going to be going to an A minor, and the way you play A minor, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And the bulk of our verse, or at least our first verse, is actually just going to be just those three chords. And a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. And we'll talk about another strum pattern in just a minute. But just to try that on the E minor, you'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, first verse progression, we got E minor, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, seven, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, E minor, down, down, up, up, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, And that's basically our progression for our first verse. When we get to our chorus part though, at the end, we still do our E minor, still make our change to B minor 7, still go to A minor, but then we start throwing in an A or a C major at the very, very end. And the way we play C major, actually, all we just have to move one finger to A minor. We're going to do one finger on the B, or first finger on the B string, first fret, second finger on the D on the second fret, and then take the third finger and kind of move them to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all the strings with that, that's called C major, and it sounds really, really happy. We tried that through our chorus progression. We have E minor down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, E minor seven down, down, up, up, down, E minor seven down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down. Now what can also sound really cool to kind of kind of match the recording a little bit more is to add some basses to that chord progression. So on their first down, instead of doing the down over the entire chord, you can actually play just the bass note for that chord. And what I mean by that is like if you take the E minor and just kind of do the bass on the low E string, and then do your down, up, up, down, E minor with the low E bass, down, up, down, it almost sounds like you're playing with a bass player. So on the E minor, you got the low E string that's kind of your bass note on that chord. E minor, low E bass. And then when you get to your B minor 7, then we're doing the A string for the bass on that chord. Minor seven with the A bass, down up, up, down, minor seven with the A bass, down up, up, down up. And then on your A minor, you've got the A string that's kind of your bass for the A minor chord. A minor with the A bass, down up, up, down, A minor with the A bass, down up, up, down. And then when you get your C chord, then your bass is going to be on the A string with the C chord too. So C with an A bass, down. Through our progression, we have E minor with the low E bass, down, up, down, E minor with the low E bass, down, up, down, E minor 7 with the A bass, down, up, up, down, E minor 7 with the A bass, down, up, down, E minor with the A bass, down, up, down, E minor with the A bass, down, up, down, C with the A bass, down, up, down, C with the A bass, down, up, down. Now, what really kind of matches the recording, though, strum pattern wise. Um, is where we would do two basses and then kind of a down, down of. So if we took the E minor and kind of went bass, bass, down, down, up, bass, bass, down, down, up, bass, bass, down, down, up, bass, bass, down, down, up. I think that really kind of matches the recording. So we tried that through our progression. Then we have E minor with the low E bass, bass, down, down, E minor with the low E bass, bass, down, down, E minor with the A bass.
of starting on an E minor, the weekend they're actually starting on an F sharp minor chord. So what you want to do to play along with the recording is if you take a capo and go second fret across the entire fret, then now your E minor is really an F sharp minor, and your B minor seven is really a C sharp minor seven, and your A minor is really a B minor chord, and when you get to it, your C major is really a D major chord. But just to try that through our progression, you, you could try that with the with just the down, down, up, up, down, or E minor down, up, down, E minor down. Then you got the E minor down, up, down, E minor down, down, up, 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 down, E minor seven down, down, up, up, down, E minor seven down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down. Or you could try adding in just the bass down, up, up, down, up, so the E minor with the bass down. You have the E minor with the bass, bass, down, down, E minor seven, with the B bass, down, down, E minor seven, with the A bass, E minor seven, with the A bass, A minor with the A bass, A minor with the A bass, A minor with the A bass, down, down, E minor with the A bass, down, down. Let me try that through your chorus progression. You have the E minor with the low E bass, down, down, E minor with the low E bass. play through it and the very beginning of the tune actually is a kind of an intro and kind of like a, almost like a lead guitar part there's a really cool piano part where you could kind of play open B and you end up doing that a lot and then we kind of end up throwing in third fret on the B string and then second fret on the G string and then going back to the open B so we got oh 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 three oh oh two oh 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 and then it kind of turns into an open 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 on the B, second on the G. So O O O O three O two, and then you kind of run that out on the second fret for three notes, and then open B, and then second on the G, open G, and then you kind of go back to the second for a bunch of them, and some open G's. So you got two 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 O two O two 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 O two O, and then we kind of go two to open B, two on the G to open B. And then more second frets on the G. And then there's this really cool lick at the end where you go open G, second on the G, open B, third fret, open E. It's kind of lead in for the E minor. So on that last fret, you got two, O, two, O, two, 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 O, two, O, three, open. So you may want to put, kind of play around with that too. Um, and I guess it, you could almost kind of throw that in with the chord, like, let's see. idea for the intro there but that's the basics of, of how you could play the knowing by the weekend so good luck